Hi everyone, it's Beck here from Hello, my name is Beck, popping in to do some mail opening with you. So, um, this came in from Celine this week. I asked her if it was okay for me to open on the weekend, um, because I like to take my time, um, when there's no chores, when there's nothing on my mind when it comes to work. Um, so yeah, I like to take my time in opening something special. Um, so it is a um, box, a scrapbooking box, and um, I will get into it with my craft knife. So with work, I have applied for another job. Um, I applied for, um, it's a sister school to St Mary's, so I currently work at St Mary's in the office. Um, and I've applied for Catherine McCauley, which is, um, it's a school actually closer to my house. Um, it's the, still a primary school and um, I applied for the, the same role that I currently do. Um, and the reason I've done that is because um, I've never got along with my colleague. Um, she... Well, she's never got along with me, effectively, because, um, um, yeah, just the way she's treated me over the last three years. So I did that. Um, I applied for the role as soon as it came up. I asked my principal if that was okay if I used her as a reference, because um, in the Catholic system you have to have your principal give you a reference. So I, I asked her on the evening that I applied for the job. And um, she said, yep, that was fine. She, she understood why, because we've had many a conversation about my relationship with my colleague. Um, and um, yes, yeah, so she understood. Then unfortunately, the lady that I work with for only one day a week, her name's Jo, she's beautiful. Um, she handed in her notice. Uh, I'll just quickly finish this story before I open Celine's box. Um, so she handed in her notice when she found out that I was going for um, Catherine McCauley. Um, jo had a lot of other stresses in her life and she knew that if I handed in my notice um, there would be a lot of pressure on her. Um, she only does one day a week. She was quite happy with one day a week. Um, but she also... Um, didn't like the way that my other colleague treated me so um, yeah so she decided she hadn't received her contract from CEDB yet so she decided to hand in her note or not even hand in her notice make make one of her um, one of her weekdays her last day basically so um, but when the principal asked her why she was leaving she asked her whether it was because of my colleague, and Jo said yes. So, um, what happened was, um, my principal the very next day pulled my colleague in and told her that the reason Jo was leaving was because of her. And she also told her that I had gone for the job at Catherine McCauley. Um, this ended up resulting in lots of confrontation with me for the afternoon because um, that's who she is, she doesn't want to let things go and um, yeah so it wasn't a very nice week and I hadn't even been given an interview because I'd only just applied for the job and it was kind of um, sort of a penultimate way of saying I had to leave whether I got the job at Catherine McCauley or not because um, because my principal had basically laid bare everything um, that I felt. Um, so anyway, good news um, is that I had the interview, um, not last Friday, Friday before, um, and I got the job pretty much straight away. They um, they were talking all throughout the interview as if I had the job. And I, I was really, really happy with the interview. Lots of laughter, lots of fun. Um, I can see myself working with the girls over at Catherine McCauley. I know them already from... Um, 
from training days, from conferences, from like Christmas dinners and things together. Um, so yes, really, really, really excited that I have the job. Um, I have one more week at St Mary's to work out my notice. Um, so yes, I've done one week's notice already um, and I can't wait guys, I really can't. It's, uh, it's been a tough time. A very, very tough time. So, let's forget all of that because we are on the weekend and we are going to open what looks like already a gorgeous box. So thank you so much for Celine to think of me, to know that um, I need a touch of um, happy mail care. So we've got a um, beautiful box, we've got koala sloth cupcakes, chocolates, and this little love across here. Really, really gorgeous. Let's open this up and get into it. Ah, oh, very, very cute. wonder whether I can... I have a feeling this is Celine's note. So I will just use some scissors. lift that off. So there's Celine's note. I will read that in just a bit when I get through the video. Ooh, how exciting. Love it. It looks beautiful. Okay, so this one here says mini white chalk raspberries. And they look super, super cute. Let's lift that up. I think it's connected to other things. So um, we have Allen's. I don't know. You guys probably don't know. But um, it's an Australian brand. And it has little raspberry um, jellies and little white chocolate on top which I love that it's got this beautiful paper clip on here that says story it also has this really really beautiful twine with purples and reds and that goes right up to um, an album ring just up here so that's what's holding everything together let's turn this over to have a little look underneath we have a face mask, a watermelon extract face mask. And then we have a glow sheet mask here. Sorry, I've got a visitor. Come on. Yep, away. Perfect. Um, so, yep, we've got this really beautiful sheet mask just here. So, thank you, Celine. That's gorgeous. I'll go straight for her rosettes because Celine's rosettes are the best and the most beautiful rosettes. So we've got heart rosettes up here and we have little circle rosettes here. So we've got peach, pink, white and red. And then up the top we have a really lovely header with this envelope with flowers. Gorgeous. Exciting. Thank you, Celine. And this one here, looks like we've got some really beautiful vellum stickers. And then we have this topper just here. Lovely. And then, let's have a look at this little cup. I think this is super, super cute. It says today, and we've got this little um, lid that goes on the cup. And I just think, what a great craft item. A great way to um, look at a different way of storing your stuff. Like you could pop sequins in here, you could do all sorts of things. So, really, really cute. So then, next is this beautiful envelope 
collaged envelope. Love these lips. They are stunning glitter lips with little enamel dots on. And then let's take off the paper clip just here. Oh wow, look at the bag. Pineapples. Gold pineapples. so gorgeous look at these hearts so we've got this heart here with these heart rosettes on gorgeous girl embellishments and then we have this one here it says falling in love and I love the layering we've got the wooden embellishment at the back I need to do more stuff like this because I have these wooden chippies and I need to actually start layering them up like this. They are gorgeous. I need to really, really focus on getting clusters done. Thank you, Celine. They are stunning. So then, next. So we were talking about wooden wooden em embellishments or wooden clusters and we've or like the uh, chippies and we've got some just in here and we also have some really lovely foam hearts like corduroy foam hearts so really really gorgeous and look at that topper you've got that peach to be preserved love it that is stunning so then next we have another cluster or another set of clusters. You've got this chipboard um, die cut here with the, the typewriter. We've got some flowers layered and then it's on this, um, looks like a pink uh, mesh at the back. Can you see the pink mesh? And then we have this beautiful Maggie Holmes deer over here. Really lovely flower. A little one of those hearts in uh, the enamel dots and then the pink mesh again. That is beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Celine. Very, very inspiring. Then we have this one here. Oh, it's a, um, a perfume. How cute is that? And look at the gorgeous box. So I'll give you... Look at those flowers. So yeah, it feels like it's one of those um, long bottles of um, spray perfume. So I'll pop that aside and smell that later. We have a beautiful pen with mermaid sequins. You can either change them to silver or you can have the mermaid colours just there. Thank you, Celine. That's gorgeous. That will make my day when I'm um, writing to people. And then just over in this corner here... We have the most amazing dangles. Let's see whether I can. So they are really, really gorgeous dangles. You've got the um, the crocodile clip at the top, and you've got then the paper circles and then the beads. And you could then choose to use these dangles any way you wanted. So that is amazing thank you Celine so I've got another one just here ignore the gold uh, streamers running through them so that's that one there super cute let's pop those down there and then I can see some more beads for me to actually do with what I would like to so they are gorgeous and then that is a gorgeous, gorgeous box. We've got a paper clip just here with, um, looks like a Maggie Holmes um, flower on the top. And then I found another one of the, um, the bead charms just here. So thank you so much, Celine. This is absolutely beautiful mail. I hope you are well, I hope the boys are well, and I'm really, really grateful for this touch of beautiful mail. So I'll pop all of that back in, 
And then we will move on next to um, something I've received from my friend Mary. So I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. So this arrived in my um, in my mailbox out the front of our house on Thursday. And then this one arrived on Friday. So this one here on Thursday I messaged... Um, Mary at the same time I messaged Celine and said can I open it on the weekend and can I do it for a video and she said yep and then this one arrived on Friday in my mailbox um, I was actually home sick um, didn't have a very good night on the Thursday night uh, so this one came in on the Friday and I think it was because they were probably supposed to come together, but um, maybe forgot that one. Um, but I opened this one on the Friday because I wasn't feeling very well. So it says, congrats. Um, we have this really gorgeous cluster here. Um, love, love, love the fact that they are layered flowers. And then you also have the, um, it's almost like a brad on top or a flare on top. And then we have the arrow here and butterfly with jemmies. And then turn it over and it says, congrats on your new job. I knew you would get the position. So thank you so much, Mary. Love that. And that gorgeous chill bow in the corner. So that's that one. Um, but let's open this one. So I'm just going to use my craft knife again to get into this one. So I will definitely keep you all informed as to how the new job goes. I have a feeling that um, it will suit me a lot better um, in terms of my new colleagues. Um, they are definitely, um, from what I have met in training, and they're definitely lovely, calm, beautiful like ladies. So I will be looking forward to working with some new people. I'll definitely miss St Mary's because the teachers, my principal, um, and even though my principal let me down on, on this last couple of weeks, she's still the most beautiful principal. Um, so yes. Okay, so that's that one open. And let's have a little look. Uh, now, sorry if the camera was a bit slanted on that last one opening Celine's because um, it was when I had the camera up high in order to manage um, squeezing in the whole box. So, yeah. Now, so I've just sat down for this one. So we've got this. It looks like it's a flip book for me. I've got this um, really lovely white... Um, paper clip just here holding down this layer here with we've got the brad over here it says hello and we've got one of those cute girls oh it opens up oh it's all sorts of different flips and flips and flaps <laughs> all right so let's open this one up this way so let's start over on this left hand side and make our way over so we've got this really gorgeous clock just on this side and then it's a pocket here and we've got some ephemera on here so we've got this beautiful girl set in a window and then we've got it looks like a seed catalog or, or packet and we've got this one here an advert maybe and then we've got this um, roses piece of ephemera just there, like a frame and thing. We've got this here that says fly. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Let's pop that one back down. Let's go over onto the right hand side to have a look here. Really like that, the fact that um, she's just this little thin washi to um, stick. Like, well, she's already got the vellum sticker just down, but it um, it works really well to stick that onto the um, sort of pink vellum there. 
Is it pink vellum? Wow. Where did you get pink vellum from, Mary? And then you've got like a ephemera piece underneath. So on this side we've got a washi tape sample. They are really cute vintage um, sort of florals. Let's say some florals for, for Mary. <laughs> she hates the way I say that. And then we've got this butterfly in the middle, butterfly paper, and it opens up this way. I wonder, did you follow a tutorial for this, Mary, or did you make this um, just the way that Lizzie does, where she just goes for it? So we've got um, this girl over here, and she's actually a pocket, or a... Um, and there we have some really lovely pieces just here. So romance, some roses, dreamy. Oh, it looks like Mary's made some tags for me. So these are um, collage tags. This moment, you can feel all the lovely layers of them. So that's those. We have some more ephemera pieces just here. A little um, hand with heart and dove. Really cute. So I popped that one back in there. And then over on this side, we have Spark Passion here, ephemera piece. And then Peacock Dahlia Farms. I love the fact that Mary knows um, to always try and send me um, sort of flower or garden related stuff now. I love it. Okay, so that's those two. Let's. Oh, missed this side, didn't I? It's a vellum pocket piece and it's got a really, really gorgeous tag in, once again, layered and collaged. That's perfect. Thank you Mary, it's gorgeous. And so let's close. So that that goes there, that goes there, that goes there. And I have a feeling we've got something on the back. Yes we do. So it flaps up just like that. And then we have Mary's letter. So that is fabulous. So I'll bring in this one and this one. Now, so what happened was this goes like this and then covers over this side. So, ta-da! Love it. Thank you so much, Mary. This is gorgeous. Thank you to both Celine and Mary today for some really lovely happy mail. Really happy to make my morning, my Sunday morning. I've got no chores to do today, so I am going to be sitting in the craft room and making the most of this beautiful, glorious Sunday. Um, yesterday I did lots of chores. I went out and did weeding and, um, yeah, just basically got the house back in order. So, hoping everyone is well. Thank you so much for following my story and all the support that you have given me. Um, really, really can't wait to start this new job. I love the role of being in the office and helping absolutely everyone from the children, the parents, the teachers, um, the executive team and, um, and my colleagues. So I'm really, really looking forward to changing my atmosphere, um, changing my environment and making it a more positive one so that I don't fear going to work. All right, thank you so much everyone. Lots and lots of crafty love from me and I will see you in my next video. Take care everyone. Bye.